there is this uh, argument that the people have just lost their mind. You know, there's no reason for them to have lost faith in institutions. There's no reason for them to be rejecting the opinions and advice of experts. And yet again and again, if you look into all of these financial collapses from 2008, they were pumping up, oh, no, the economy's great. Get your money into stocks. The, right, up, right up to the day that the stock market crashed. When you look at how they covered Elizabeth Holmes, when you look at how they covered very recently Sam Bankman Freed, right? Uh, the next JP Morgan, right up to this. So I, I you know, I am singling him out because nobody represents this more than Jim Cramer does. But I want to make it clear you could look up articles in Forbes that pumped up this bank too. It's not just Jim Cramer. Jim Cramer is just Look, if, if you want to talk about a white mediocrity who doesn't face any consequences for his obvious failure and lack of skill, Jim Cramer is the best example of that that you could find, of somebody who absolutely just fails up and doesn't deserve his position and just incredibly, incredibly just gets everything wrong. Jim Cramer is so wrong that you will make more money doing the opposite of what Jim Cramer says than doing what he says. And we know that because there is an ETF called the reverse Cramer, where that's what they do. Whatever Cramer says to do on a show, they do the opposite, always outperforms the market, does very well. You'll, you'll, I mean, Cramer is useful as an indicator of what not to do. So I put together a montage of some of his lowlights over the last few years, right up to SVB. Okay, Peter writes, should I be worried about Bear Stearns in terms of liquidity and get my money out of there? No, no, no. Bear Stearns is fine. Do not take your money out. This is really, look, if there's one takeaway other than a plus 400 somebody, Bear Stearns is not in trouble. I mean, if anything, they're more likely to be taken over. Don't move your money from Bear. That's just being silly. Don't be silly. Bear Stearns today leading the tumble on Wall Street. The stock plunging 45% after the New York Federal Reserve and J.P. Morgan agreed to provide an emergency financing to the Wall Street firm. Compare you, I usually don't do this, to Steve Jobs and what he did for computing. Uh, I regard you as a visionary next generation person. Is, is this the kind of ridiculous pressure that nobody needs? You know, Steve Jobs was, I, I don't think... There is another Steve Jobs. He was a phenomenal entrepreneur. We've got an incredible opportunity to try to uphold a legacy in Silicon Valley of changing the world. And Disrupting the world. We're working 24-7 to do it. Well, I understand that's exactly how you work. That's Elizabeth Holmes. She's the Theranos founder and CEO. Congratulations on all the success you've had, and I sure hope you win. Well, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you. The judge just sentenced Elizabeth Holmes to 11 years, three months in prison. J.P. Morgan of this generation, Sam Bankman Freed's FTX yes. is is slashing everybody's margin and uh, average fees per transaction across the industry had to climb by 50%. A lot of that is, is the man, Sam Bankman Freed. Embattled FTX co-founder Sam Bankman Freed has been arrested in the Bahamas. The ninth best performer year to date is SVB Financial. Don't you want this company's a merchant bank with a deposit base that Wall Street had been mistakenly concerned about. SVB is the old Silicon Valley Bank. Recently bought one of our favorite research firms, Buffett Nathanson, and it's become less dependent upon private equity and venture capitalist offerings. Wait a second. Those dried up last year, they could come back. Yes, some of them come back here with a stock directly affects an oversold position. Stock was the fourth worst performer in 2020. I think the fears were not justified. And it's a very compelling situation. Hey, by the way, long-term private equity and venture capital, they're not going away. Being the banker to these invest, immense pools of capital has always been a very good business. Stock's still cheap. Now, you have to remember that a stock that falls 66%, like SVB Financial did last year, it takes it a lot more to recover. After losing two-thirds of your value, you need a 200% gain to get back to even. This is arithmetic. Some people call it geometry. So you could argue SVB's nearly 40% rally this year is barely a drop in the bucket. It's the second largest bank failure in American history. And federal banking regulators tonight working around the clock to ensure customers of Silicon Valley Bank can at least get access Monday to the maximum quarter million dollars of their deposits insured by the FDIC. The bank, popular with tech startups and the venture capitalists who invest in them. I hope we get most of it back, but yeah, it's definitely a concern. I'm pretty concerned. On a level from 1 to 10, I would say it's 
So okay, so that's and uh, again, that's not just Jim Cramer. That's not just Jim Cramer. Somebody pointed out in the chat. Uh, this is true. Forbes last week was rating <laughs> the best bank to invest in. It's not just Jim Cramer. He's he's just really uh, stands out because he's he's just never right. Please clap.